trying to own multiple businesses Driving the latest business Heaven only knows I'm a witness And the profit gon' come tremendous I'm trying to own multiple businesses Driving the latest business Heaven only knows I'm a What's up? What's good? It's your boy Zillionette. Welcome to the show. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and all that good stuff. Zillionaire Nation was popping. Now, giving you an update on Tyler Perry's nephew, which Tyler Perry himself, he got a second autopsy, which I think was smart because you never know what these prisons do. Okay, got a second autopsy from one of his people, you know. Tyler Perry got that big money, you know, so he can pull in some people to get a, a second autopsy, to get a real second opinion. And it showed and it proved that there was no foul play. Now, this is what I believe uh, Tyler Perry's family or uh, his mother or whatever the case may be. They can sue the jail. And this is how they can sue the jail. The young man already was talking about suicide. All right? He was always already talking about killing himself. He already talked about that, clear as day, right? And it was written in reports and everything else. Now, when you have an inmate that talks about suicide or killing themselves, they must be put on suicide watch. I'm going to say this again. When you have an inmate who is suicidal or who is talking about killing, killing himself, they must be put on suicide, suicide watch. In other words, the COs that are working the shifts are to check on him frequently all right i'm saying it again the co's who are on that shift are to check on suicidal inmates frequently so they don't hang themselves cut themselves kill themselves all right now they neglected this young man they, they put him in solitary confinement and they left him to rot they, they, they paid him no attention they paid him no mind i guess even though he was getting into fights i guess they figured well he got murder charges uh we you know they don't really don't care you know, it's, this is how jails and prisons, they treat you. They treat you like you're inhuman, which in a way you can understand it and not understand it. OK, well, you're just supposed to give all the inmates proper service. They're supposed to get showers. They're supposed to get the food. They're supposed to be able to shave. They're supposed to be in, be able to put in requests. They're supposed to be able to see the nurse. Just fundamental stuff for a human being. But lots of times they're not going to treat you like that in there. And this man was already uh, a suicidal. He was already suicidal. He already was talking about killing himself. And the jails didn't follow through with proper procedure on putting him on suicide watch. Okay, y'all can look up. If you don't know what suicide watch is in prison, go look up what is suicide watch. Okay. Now, Tyler Perry, he um, issued a statement. Issued a statement on his uh, on his on all his social medias or whatever. And, um, you know, he talked about how there was no no foul play. Um, you know, there was no nothing foul that went on. The man committed suicide. Um, and listen, it's a lot of suicidal brothers in jail. That's why they have suicide watch. It's a lot of brothers who kill themselves in jail. But we don't talk about that part. It's a lot of brothers that commit suicide. There's a lot of brothers that hang themselves in prison. Just another another just another. Uh, how can I put it? Just another. Um. Uh, issue that they failed to address. Um, people need counseling in prison. People need counseling. You know, all kind of stuff is going on with them mentally, emotionally. Um, they need more counselors present with people in prison to help work out their problems. But, you know, they throw people in jail and people got all kind of mental, emotional problems and all kind of psychological problems and all kind of trauma and all kind of demons, you know, and all kind of uh, personal issues that the prisons could care less about addressing. And that's, this is what happens when they don't really give a crap about you. They'll sit there and let you kill yourself and just get, just pick you up out the cell and, you know, and take you down to the morgue. Like it ain't nothing. I'm your boy, Zillion. Now, um, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think about all this and Tyler Perry getting a second autopsy, which I think was smart and brilliant because you just never know. Just in case you, you get a say you always get a second to autopsy just in case, you know, just in case. Well, let me tell you Well, this is what what Tyler Perry said before I go. Tyler Perry said he spoke with Dr. Michael Baden today after he finished the second autopsy of his nephew. He was relieved to hear that he is 98 percent sure that there was no foul play in his death. 
just as Sheriff, Sheriff Gates stated. Answers don't take away grief, but they surely give room for the grieving to take its course. That's what Tyler Perry said. But like I said, it's a lot of suicidal men in jail, and that's why they have Suicide Watch, man. Put your thoughts in the comments. I'm out of here. Trying to own multiple benches, driving the latest benches. Heaven only knows I'm a witness, and the profit gon' come tremendous. I'm trying to own multiple benches, driving the latest benches. Heaven only knows I'm a witness.